All brides are different. But all brides dream of their special day. My wedding theme is about Hollywood glamour. I really, really want a Christmas theme wedding. Alice in Wonderland. I think goth can be very sexy. What happens when two cash-trapped girls are given the chance to win one giant budget? I do. I do. I do. They must walk down the aisle together. From pay. That's not you, Katie. And plan an identical wedding. It's a wedding. Why are they going to cover their faces up? What is that for that dog? Everything must be the same or the wedding is off. Look at that one there. His eyes popping out. Same room decor. Like at somebody's funeral. So transport. Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> Same entertainment. Stupid. Same dress. <laughs> I wish I looked as good as that in my dress. I would never wear that. I prefer to die. If we both want to get married, yeah. twenty-five grand. We have to compromise. Will it be I do? I don't even want to do this anymore. <laughs> or I don't. The battle is well and truly done. Meet 44-year-old Jewel from Manchester, a lady who dreams of living the celebrity Hollywood high life. People always say, oh, where are you going? Because I always look like I'm going to Hollywood. I aspire to live the Hollywood lifestyle, but unfortunately, no, I don't. <laughs> and 26-year-old mum, Tudor-obsessed Kim from Kent. I've always been fascinated with the Tudors. I think they're amazing. I could see myself being Amberlina because she got what she wanted. Oh, it didn't end up the way she wanted, no. <laughs> These brides are complete opposites, but they do have one thing in common. They want to win a £25,000 all-expenses-paid wedding at this palace. Wow! Well this is really nice. Yes. Gorgeous, look at it. But to get here, they'll be taking on the challenge of a lifetime. Together, they must plan an identical shared wedding. Every aspect must be a joint decision. If not, they'll forfeit the cash and their wedding will be called off. Wannabe Hollywood starlet Jewel met her leading man, musician Jerome, 20 years ago. Jewel makes me feel relaxed. Uh, she makes me feel loved. She makes me feel really good about myself. Jewel would give anything for celebrity A-listers to make an appearance on her big day. So, are you coming to my wedding? I'd really like you both to come. Me and Jerome, we'd love you to come. So are you two coming as well? See you there. Thank you very much. My wedding theme is about Hollywood glamour. I want it to be all glitzy, all glamorous, all paparazzi, uh, taking photos, uh, shiny, diamantes and diamonds. No, not diamantes, diamonds. I do think Hollywood stars are like the new royalty. And if it's royalty Jewel is after, wait till she sees her opponent's theme. Infatuated with the Tudors and everything gory, and Berlin admirer Kim met her Henry VIII over a flagon of mead seven years ago. She's been interested in the Tudors since I met her. I didn't really have pay much attention to them, to be honest, but she plays an audiobook overnight. The Six Wives of Henry VIII is one of the world's great stories. She was quite annoying in the beginning, but I sort of enjoy it now. Well, I can believe she's very precious to me, obviously. As I say, she's my only daughter. So, I mean, I think the world of her very much. I mean, they have tried twice before to get married, just didn't have the money to do it, and I wasn't in the financial situation to help them out. So for this, for the, her to do this, I, it really does mean the world to her and to me. Here is where Anne Boleyn and Catherine Howard were beheaded. They were wives of Henry VIII, who my wedding theme is based on. Here's hoping Kim's wedding is more successful than Anne Boleyn's marriage. The date book for Jewel and Kim's wedding is just three weeks away. Today, 
with Wedding Party along for support, the brides will meet for the very first time and show each other their dream wedding theme. I am really scared of meeting the other bride. I am absolutely terrified. Am I going to have to spend the whole day cringing and pretending to get on with them? I had a dream about the wedding. I dreamt that I won and I had practically everything my way. Both brides have a clear vision for their special day, but have never seen it brought to life until now. Stress. Jill, this is absolutely <gasps> fantastic. I like that. You're not the dummy. <laughs> yeah. And yours is really cute. It's really nice. It's a nice colour as well. Oh, oh we'll just look amazing. And we'll be like. The other way's gonna be so jealous because these are I really think she nice. is. Yeah. It's the perfect idea. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, we don't know what her theme is, but I can't possibly imagine it being better than this. Oh, you look really good. I actually look like a bride as well, not just a Tudor bride. I actually look like a princess bride. Now that I've seen the dress, there's no way I'm giving up my theme. It's beautiful, it's perfect. It just looks amazing. So simple, elegant, exactly what I'd want, not over the top. I'm kind of a Hollywood star as well. It's like a dream come true. It's not just Kim who's gone all medieval. <laughs> I'm mad, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a proud dad, you're not beautiful. <laughs> so stunning, honey. Kim's dad's choked up. What will Uncle Jan's reaction be? Wow, Jill. That's a beautiful dress. <laughs> you gotta set me off, I should be <laughs> Yeah. Give us a hug. Glitzy Hollywood versus Anne Boleyn. It's the moment of truth, as they're about to see the theme they'll be battling against. Oh, my goodness. There is oh, no make... way. The white dress looked like a nighty. <laughs> Dowding. Front pay. Front pay. 21st century meets the 16th. In just three weeks' time, could these two brides be walking down the aisle side by side? Will they take the chance to convince each other that their wedding ideas are best? Or now they've seen each other's themes, decide to call the whole thing off? We are gathered here today for the meeting of two brides to be with very different styles and themes. You will be gifted the princely sum of £25,000, but to get the cash, you must obey the following. Together, you must arrange a double wedding, identical down to the very last detail, including the dress. You have a few moments to discuss if this challenge is for you. If either bride walks away now, they'll both lose the offer of a 25 grand budget and their wedding will be no more. The white dress looks like a nighty. It's something you wear on a beach, like... Yeah, I thought that. <laughs> Our Tudor wedding is much better than an ordinary Tudor. wedding. If you were going to go back to medieval times, you'd at least dress Pick like something Elizabeth I. Yeah. Yeah. Why would you choose to be a peasant on your wedding? The vows you make today are a promise that from this day forward, you will prepare your joint wedding, taking place in three weeks' time. Do you, Jewel, agree to share all aspects of your wedding with me, Kim? I do. And do you, Kimberly, agree to walk down the aisle with me, Jewel, on your most special day? I do.
When I first saw her, I thought the dress was a nighty. It's not something at all that I want to wear. It's not classy, it's not stylish. There was no wow factor at all. In fact, it was a ah uh, factor. It just, it was just hideous. Next, Jewel is slightly oh. overcome. Oh my God, that is disgusting. <laughs> and Kim reaches breaking point. Complete Strangers, Hollywood Bride Jewel from Manchester and Tudor Kim from Kent have taken a vow agreeing to share joint wedding day. In return, they're getting a 25 grand budget to pay for it all, but only if they can make identical choices on what the big day should look like. I do. Will they ever be able to win each other over to their dream theme? Blenheim Palace in Oxfordshire is the venue booked for Kim and Jules' double wedding in just under three weeks' time. Today, the girls will be showcasing their wedding room decor plans and entertainment in the hope they can convince the other bride that their ideas are best. Celeb-obsessed Jewel is here with friend Lynn. It's gorgeous. Oh, look at all the gold on the gate. Yeah, just imagine getting married here and having your photograph taken with I, all that in the background. I just think it's amazing. I just cannot believe mine and Jerome's I know, look. you're very lucky. Tudor fanatic Kim has brought along Mum Leslie. Oh, I think it's gorgeous. It looks spectacular. And that's just the front entrance. I've never imagined anywhere like this. I mean, look at it. It's just stunning. First up, the bride's perfect vision for their reception room decoration is brought to life. Kim's Tudor-inspired banqueting hall includes medieval rats, decapitated heads and Henry VIII chart toppers. Wow. That's brilliant. Oh, it looks a bit like Lindsay, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, this is fantastic. I absolutely love it. It's more than what I expected. You know, the phones, the cake, everything. I absolutely love absolutely everything about it. <laughs> Jewel is going to hate it. I mean, really hate it. Jewel's room is a much more modern affair. A glam, star-studded night in Hollywood, complete with celeb-inspired cardboard cutouts of her and Gerard. Oh. <laughs> that is brilliant. Love the flowers, love the cake, just love everything about this. Oh, that is really cute. Oh, <laughs> that is so cute, Julian Jerome. It's unreal. I don't see how anybody could not like this idea and not want to take at least ten ideas.
this from this. Will Kim trade in Tudor for Hollywood glam? And will Jewel be won over by rats? Let's find out. Let's go and see what we think. Oh, oh, that's a bit scary. I'm that's sorry about scary, that. It's really it? scary. <laughs> That is really disgusting. Oh, that, look at that one there. His eyes popping out. So this is this is a glamorous Tudor wedding that you might have. What do you think? Why would you want heads on a stake at your wedding? I don't. I have no idea. Maybe that's what they did in Tudor times. I don't know. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> um, don't know what to say. No, I don't know why. <laughs> that is. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Why would you have that of yourself? Well, I don't know. Um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, some ladies there. Oh, music. Yeah, play music. Will you give us a sample of your Yeah, music? there's some music. Yeah, it's not quite what I had in mind. <laughs> It's horrible. It's just little cakes. Are you going to share that Look, between everyone? There's rings on them. Yeah, it's not pretty. I don't like that at all. That's horrible. That is horrible. I wouldn't even take me shopping home in a second like that. Oh, look, there's your cake. What do you think of the cake? Can you see it over there? It is horrible. It's hideous. <laughs> it, honestly, I don't like that. I don't <laughs> like Mr Ratty. <laughs> Roland. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know what to say about it. I don't like the table decoration. I just don't like it. The no, garden I don't. And the red. I, d I just don't get it at all. I just don't. I don't get why we would go back to the worst time in history. I don't see why you'd want to actually go and relive it. Why would you do that? Why would you not want to be glamorous? You know, why would you want to be sitting on sacking and having rats around you? And our friend. Maybe persuasion in person is the way forward. So, Kim, <clears throat> what do you think? Honestly, I love the colour. I love blue. Blue's my favourite colour. Oh, we're agreed about one thing, then, because this man in Jerome's as well. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the start. Yeah, isn't that's the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we all like blue. We love blue. I like the cupcakes, because they're really pretty, but to me, it's not a wedding cake cake. I don't like... Uh, if I couldn't imagine myself having a cardboard cut of myself, I'm sorry, but I couldn't. I think the flowers would be better if they were white, I think. That's just my personal opinion. What did you think about mine? Mm, we didn't like the rats. Yeah. We didn't like the severed heads, did no, we? No, we didn't like the severed heads. <laughs> I didn't no. think What did you think of the cake? Didn't really like the cake. Didn't you? No. Oh. I'm sorry, Kim, I didn't really like very anything of yours. I'm really sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Well, yeah, so you... I know we've got to compromise, so obviously we're going to have to compromise. Yeah. But I don't really know what I can take from it. Kim, I, 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 that's it. I don't know what to say. I don't know how we're going to sort this out. I just felt that she missed the whole point of it, it being, you know, like a glamorous day and, and you know, the red carpet and you were the stars of it. And she just kind of missed the whole thing. If you can't be the star and, uh, of your own wedding... I don't understand at all. So, neither bride seem sold on each other's room decor. Maybe they'll fare better when it comes to choosing a shared wedding entertainment. It's Kim, a.k.a. Robin Hood. This is my entertainment, Archie. Oh, OK. <laughs> I've chosen it because Henry VIII loved archery and hunting. And oh. uh, apparently, my mum just told me, it's law. You have to do archery every Sunday now. <laughs> just practice in case he calls a war. Yeah. Oh, what, in that time, in the Tudor time? Oh, is it? Yeah, that's interesting. Just in case he decides to go to war with France again, which is quite likely, I think, so... I didn't know that. That's interesting. We'll have to start practising. Yeah, so should we go have a go at this? Yeah, let's do it. Come on in. Good luck, then. With the history lesson over, Leslie and Lynn head for cover, while Jewel prepares to get nifty with a bow and arrow. I mean, to me, Tudor is like sort of the sort of thing you do on a works outing, a medieval night or something, works party. Oh, that's brilliant. I like this idea. This is quite yeah, good. good. Pro Kim shows Jewel how it's done. Point right. If she's been honest, I think that's day. Because I think she really enjoyed it, and I know I really enjoyed it. 
I will be really unhappy if halfway through the wedding, all the guests disappear, well, half of them, and they all separate because they've all gone out to play archery outside. <laughs> archery doesn't quite seem to be hitting the bullseye for Jewel. What will Kim make of her entertainment choice? Kim is the lady you need to impress. <laughs> <laughs> He may be able to pull a pen out of his ear, but will Kim trade in bows and arrows for him? The magician to me, I wasn't that interested in. As with archery, was something I really, really enjoyed. So, it's Nil Poing for Jules Magician, and the brides aren't budging on their ideas. But your room is so drastically different to hers. Yes. And, well, yes, I mean, I don't know how you're going to do it, but there will have to be a compromise. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I wasn't expecting anything like it. Yeah, in anywhere. a traditional wedding, because I've seen so, them bows and back of chairs I've seen loads like, of times. It's, it's normal. Yeah. Bows and back of chairs is normal. Yeah. Glitter on the table is normal. Yeah. No. Director's chair is not fair enough, that's different. No. <laughs> but yeah. then you don't spot it straight away, and she's going to be sitting it, you won't see it. Yeah. Whereas your wedding, everything is unusual. It's I've never seen a Tudor wedding before, and I don't suppose many people have. No, exactly. She did say, I don't like the vets, which I'm quite disappointed about. <laughs> Even as a joke, why would you have rats on the table? Why would you have severed heads? I mean, it's funny, but there is no way we are having a Tudor wedding. <sighs> Next, one bride is up to mischief. For Kim's benefits, I will take the hat off. You are really doing my wedding! These two complete strangers have been attempting to make decisions for their shared wedding day, but have completely different ideas on how it should look. Oh my <laughs> god, that is disgusting! I don't like those, I don't those like two, that. no, I don't like that. In under two weeks, they should be saying I do, but so far have said I don't to everything. Today, they'll be reunited at a dance studio in London to rehearse and choose their first dance for their big day. This time, the girls have brought their men as ammunition to help with negotiations. <coughs> what do you think we should do for a strategy? I think we should um, 
charm, blag, sweet talk them around to our way. Jewel goes after what she wants and she pursues it and she gets it, so she's, she's very focused. Some people might call it bossy, sometimes I call it bossy, but you know, it's, it's just, her, uh, just her nature. I think Kim will get the majority of what we want. She's got like a competitive streak in her, so she's gonna be quite strong-willed. Hmm, bossy versus strong-willed. But only one first dance can be chosen, and the couples must dance it together. Nice to meet you. Hey. Lindsay. Lindsay. Yeah, nice to meet you. You too. Hi. 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 Nice yeah. to meet Good you. Good to meet you, finally. Yeah. First to take to the floor are the Hollywood couple with their club classic. It's not a romantic dance, it's a fast dance. Sun moves look similar to ours anyway. So I reckon you would drop me when you get to do that bit. <laughs> Probably on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Any guesses to the theme of Kim and Lindsay's routine? I was expecting them to start jumping around like a pair of bunny boilers, really? but <laughs> it's not like that at all. It's a bit boring. Do you? Oh, I, I like flute, but I, I'd want to see an actual flautist. Oh, bit of a beat there. Hey, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, join you go, Lindsay. Jill, you come with me. <laughs> As the women get into the groove, the men suss out the competition. How are you coping with all this then, all the pressure? Uh, it's, it's a little bit hectic, you know. Um, with both of the uh, brides having a picture in their head, you know, both our wives to be have a picture in their head of what, what, they, of want. what they want. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If, if anything ever goes off with me and you, we'll just get a bottle of JD. That's right, sit there. Coca Cola. Yeah, sit back, kick out. We sit back and watch the fireworks. Yeah, at the end, we'll be friends. <laughs> So, the grooms have planned their escape routes. But there's no time for boozing. There are steps to be learned. Will they fall for the Tudor charm or dance the night away at a disco? What do you think of my dance? So it was really elegant. Did you enjoy doing it? Uh, yeah, and I really love that one move. Keep saying yeah. that. It's like a, quite a beautiful ceremonial thing about it. Yeah, that's quite what I thought. From ours. I mean, what do you think of ours? Yes. Yeah, yours is fun. I, I like yours. Like <laughs> yeah. 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 And I love the song as well. It's a tune because both songs are really good. Yeah. They both have got their own meanings and they sort of, yeah, exactly. sort of work for each other, really. So. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Well, you too. <laughs> nice uh, to meet you. Nice to meet you, Yep, and I'll see you soon. I'll yeah. see you soon. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. Bye, bye, bye. See ya. It's all smiles. Could the dance be the girl's first breakthrough? Uh, really like my fire is not a first dance song, is it? So that was really surprising to me. I still prefer our one because our one's more of a romantic dance. Yeah, it's got a certain elegance about it. It's, yeah, it's a lot slower and like you expect a first dance to be. It's about uh, your first dance as a married couple. Um, I, I'm going to have to do whatever I can to get keep that dance. That's really, really important to me. Yeah, and I just think our dance is better, but I'm not going to say that to her. Looks like the brides are keeping their feelings close to their chests. But if they can't choose the same dance, the wedding may be over sooner than they think. So far, the girls haven't chosen anything for their shared wedding day, from Kim's heads on sticks to Jules' cardboard cutouts. But today, they'll be confronting probably the hardest decision of all. My dress is going to be the most 
understated, yet glamorous, sophisticated, blingy dress, Kate Middleton will be jealous. I want the perfect dress. You know, I really want the perfect dress because I want the gold theme to go with the Tudors. They're meeting in a bridal shop in London. To help sway Jewel to her way of thinking, Kim's brought along friend Kaylee. I'm going to compromise a couple of little things, but the dress will not be happening. I'm no, sorry. because you, everyone wants their own dress, don't they? Yeah, well, mine's perfect. And Jewel is with friend Amanda. Oh, these dresses are amazing. I just don't understand why Kim, why she's not picked something beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll get what you want, Kim. Oh, I'll determine, don't worry. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> it can't be. That is horrible. Do you know what? I would expect one of the ugly sisters in a pantomime to have a better <laughs> costume than this. What's that? What's that? It looks like a shower cap. <laughs> <laughs> I really do not like the dress. I'm sorry. It is. It's look, nothing to it. It's look at it. You get in it, you won't be able to move very much. And it, so you wouldn't get married if you had to wear this? I think so. Well, then you best... It's not going to be my dream wedding, is it? If I wear that, that is not my dream wedding. Both girls not impressed. I think that... It's horrible. Um, I don't want to get out of it. You're very beautiful, but the dress, not so much. It's not... <laughs> <laughs> How can I? Take Kimberly seriously if this is what she wants to wear. I don't care who you are, <laughs> nobody. Even fit nobody can look amazing <laughs> in this. This is like a comedy. <sighs> oh, it just feels gross. Is this this? Like, look, I mean, I don't have no boobs, and this is just, like trying to show nothing I've got. Look, got. <laughs> it's like it. It's in my dress or no wedding, I don't think, because I can't wear this. I'm so uncomfortable. I could hardly contain myself in a dressing room. People, I mean, you don't want to walk down the aisle with people laughing at you. If I had to wear this, Amanda, I think I'd just have to completely cancel the wedding. Two brides, two different dresses, but only one choice. That's a bag, isn't it? <laughs> I thought this was the heart. No, it's a bag. Oh, well, I thought this was the heart. <laughs> And that's the back. Well, I don't know what to say, Kim. I'm really sorry. I mean, you seem... <laughs> you look beautiful. You look beautiful Every in my choice. So. There is no way on earth you could ever make this look nice. Um, I'm sorry. I did. I did. I'm sorry, but I made that look gorgeous. I don't know where to start. It might help if you had it on the right way. <laughs> this is a bit of old tat. It's literally a bit of old tat. Yes. You don't want to wear a bit of old tat. No. Did you see Kim in that dress the other day? Yes. Yeah. But well, then you know that that's not how you wear it. Yes, exactly. Kim, we were laughing too much to even concentrate and focus. I mean, hello. I am not wearing this on my wedding day. And it's simple. I think for Kim's benefit, I will take the hat off. And maybe put it on. I right. thought it looked better because I, I wasn't really sure what it was supposed to be. It's just like an old duster. Um, and I will put. I take. I thought this she was better than the She doesn't understand the theme, does she? No. Well, See, now that's just taking the. Do you know that goes on your head? You are really doing my head in! You should have put it on right. <laughs> she can't even bother to put it on properly. I'm not crying because I'm upset, I'm crying because I'm angry, this is what I do. <laughs> Kim tried, she put her dress on. She don't, she's not respecting Kim's theme, Kim's respecting hers. It's just not fair. And she was bang out of order. Bang out of order. I thought Kim was joking. It's not like I meant to take the Mickey on purpose. I was actually trying not to take the Mickey. <sighs> and I'm not an angry person. I'm not. Oh, I don't even want to do this anymore. <laughs> The brides call it a day. I would hope that things could be smoothed over and that um, the wedding can go ahead. But at this moment in time, because everything's still so fresh and raw, I'm not, I'm not convinced. Time to calm down. But the girls need to decide what to do. 
him. He's very determined to get what she wants, and I'm very determined to get what I want, so... Back home, Kim's getting some fatherly advice. <laughs> One of the biggest things when a woman gets married is the their wedding, a wedding dress. Exactly. She's got to realise it's not just her wedding. No, that's This right. is my, my wedding too. And we need to give her some bits of her wedding, but she's got to let me have bits of my wedding. But if she's thinking, no, you know, I'm getting everything I want, then there's not going to be a wedding because she's not going to get everything she wants. No, no. And Jewel is looking for comfort from fiancé Jerome. No, I, just, I just don't think I could go through with wearing that dress. There's useless panicking about it. Worrying about it, stress won't get you anywhere except upset. Next, the girls have to decide once and for all if their wedding will go ahead. Kim, we're going to have to have a break. I need a break. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. It's been a roller coaster couple of weeks for two very different brides to be. Jules not backing down on her Hollywood wedding, and Kim is adamant she gets her Tudor theme. The dress, room decor, and entertainment are still up for grabs, but if they can't start compromising soon, their all expenses paid wedding is off. With only one week to the big day, time is running out. The girls are meeting for a crisis chat. At this moment, I'm calling it D-Day because I'm absolutely dreading it. D for dread. I'm really nervous because I don't think this double wedding will work. If she's not going to be considerate, it won't happen because it won't be my wedding. It will be hers, but I'll just be there. They need to start making decisions fast. I'm gonna let you start, cause so, cause. Well, I was gonna let you start. I've <laughs> <laughs> already got a stay on me. <laughs> uh, one thing I definitely want is my dress. If you'd have come to me with like a blue dress, I would have just snapped my hand off. Yeah. Because I, I love blue. You well, know. The reason I chose a golden dress is because Henry VIII's favourite colour was gold, and he loved gold. I mean, I'm not really worried about what Henry VIII would have thought, because he no. killed 78,000 people at the time <laughs> he was king, so I'm like, kind of not really that bothered about what Henry VIII would think. <laughs> Bottom line is, we'd like the clothes. It's not, I don't think it's fair if you get all the clothes and I don't get any, so 
We are going to have to come to an agreement in there somewhere. Kim, we're going to have to have a break. I need a break. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. See you in a minute. See you in a bit. Jewel decides to call Jerome. I feel like she's going to try and get her dress, and then she's not bothered about what a bridesmaids wear too much and what everyone else wears. I just feel like she's going to give us the leftovers and not having the leftovers. It is our wedding day and it is a very important day to us both and we're both really nervous about it. Jewel is back for round two of talks. I don't want to be mean to you, but I don't want to be mean to myself. I just, I just don't know what we're going to do here because Jerome will not get married in Tudor. I don't want to wear a Tudor dress. Obviously, the clothes, I've said to you, the dress and the clothes are one of my most important things as well. Kim, what I've seen so far, I don't see how we're going to get this wedding. <laughs> it's rocking, I don't, honestly. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that she wanted all the clothes. That was a shock to me. I really don't want to be having a peasant wedding. If that happens, it's just going to be really depressing and really miserable. Let's hope round three proves more positive. Only time will tell. One week later, and the big day has arrived. Luckily, the guests have turned up but it remains to be seen what the wedding will look like and who got what. I mean, I imagine they, that all four of them are getting married at the same time, but I'm not quite sure how it works. It should be a good day, I think, yeah. Two completely different things, it should be fun. The first groom is about to make his appearance. A top hat and cane. Jerome looks every inch a classic Hollywood movie star. We wanted our clothes, baby. We wanted the clothes. Give me the clothes. Don't give me no Tudor stuff. Kim's fiance, Lindsay, is also donning top hat and tails for Jules' Hollywood theme. A black suit with a top hat and a cane. I'm quite happy with that, really. I mean, I could have got a lot worse, to be honest, so I'm quite pleased with it. The best men aren't Hollywood, though. It's tights, Tudor style. The ceremony is moments away. So far, it's one all for Kim and Jewel. But what will the bridesmaids wear? The wedding has gone back in time. They're head to toe in Anne Boleyn inspired gowns. Kim's dad and Jewel's uncle are dressed like Henry VIII. Does this mean Kim's Tudor England is going to win out? The best moment was getting my dress, because my dress is so beautiful. I do think style has won. I think I came to the decision to give up my dress, not that she convinced me. This is a fair decision. Ladies and gentlemen, would you all like to be seated, please? The big moment has finally arrived. You promised to live in a spirit of tolerance and mutual support, sharing both your responsibilities and your joys. I do. Jewel. Do you promise to share your life with Jerome, to trust and be honest and faithful to him? I do. Lindsay, do you promise to live in a spirit of tolerance and mutual support, sharing both your responsibilities and your joys? I do. Kimberly, do you promise to share your life with <laughs> Lindsay, to trust and be honest and faithful to him? I do. Absolutely beautiful, <laughs> wonderful. I felt like I was the proudest man on earth, giving my, my daughter away to a man that I know will look after her for the rest of her life. So, Jewel and Jerome, Lindsay and Kim, today will form a milestone in your lives together. So it therefore gives me the greatest honour to introduce you now as husbands and wives. Gentlemen, now you may kiss your bride. <laughs> the ceremony was really, really good. Everyone seemed to enjoy it and uh, yeah, uh, seemed to go without a hitch. I think Jill's got the glamorous wedding that she wants, so despite the outfits, I think it's been fabulous. 
It means a lot to Kim and Lindsay, yeah, because they've got a lovely family together, they've grown close together and proud of them. <laughs> the Tudors have somehow made it to Hollywood, side by side. But this double wedding has only just begun. Will it be Kim's archery or Jules' magician that will entertain the guests? And before that, the severed heads are making their second appearance. It's a Tudor treat that Kim sacrificed her dress for. You are invited to receive the bright and bright groups. And I'm so happy that I got my room. I really am. I just love everything about it. I had the thrones, I had crowns, you know, I had the old wooden tables, I had heads on sticks, because Henry David liked to cut people's heads off, <laughs> you know. I really despise the severed heads of Kim's theme, but I just thought, in the end, I just thought, oh well, who cares? I've also bought a present for Jerome and Jewel. Three weeks ago, these brides went head to head to fight for their wedding. Congratulations from me and Lindsay on your wedding day. Thank you. Thank you. They bickered and fought. But today, they both have a wedding and a new friendship to be proud of. I'm really happy that we got married together, I really am. And I'm so glad we sorted out our differences and I could have chosen a, different, a better bride to got married with. <laughs> oh, that's really sweet. It has been like the most amazing day ever. It's just, <laughs> I just can't get over it. Yeah. Oh, bless you. Oh. <laughs> But the challenge is not over yet. Who got the wedding entertainment? It's Kim who hit the bullseye on this one. I managed to persuade you in getting my entertainment as part of the bargain for the dress. I think it's going to be a laugh watching everyone that have a go at the archery. Kim really loved her archery, and I did really enjoy the archery myself. And the final element of the evening, the first dance. So Jewel got her dress, the groom's attire and her dance. Kim got everything else. Just got married, it's the best feeling in the world. You're now a oh, husband. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. I'm just so happy that marriage your room and it's just been a fantastic day. You locked out, didn't you, really? I locked out. Yeah, me that's too. so true. Yeah, me too. <laughs> a very fair exchange for their Tudor Hollywood wedding. I've enjoyed the whole day, the whole experience. <laughs> I loved having a double wedding. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, it was good, <laughs> you know? wasn't it? Yeah, it's, it's really good. Yeah, it's really, really, I would recommend it. I really would. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the best thing about today, I've gained a beautiful wife, Aww. gained some new friends. Aww. 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 That's good. Fab. <laughs> Aww. Cheers, ears. <laughs>